I'm going to dye my hair. I've had this white hair uh, ever since I was in my 20s. I, I used to dye it on a regular basis. And I just thought I'd uh, try it again, see, see how it goes, and uh, show you guys how you can dye your hair by yourself. So what I'm going to use here is just the product just for men. I, I've never actually tried this before. I used to use the women's product, but the difference that I found between the men and the women's product is that in the women's product they seem to put this shimmering type color into the dye. So pretty much all, all you need is um, the color that you're going to use from the store, conditioner. And what you do with the conditioner is you take a little bit, put it in your hand, and then you put it right around the edge of your hairline. So when the color gets on your skin, you, so putting it back here, you uh, don't get the color permanently dyed or dyed on your skin for a while. You don't want a big brown dot of dye on your forehead. That would look weird. The women's one comes with um, small gloves. They give you these tiny gloves in the women's one. And the men's, they give you the big size. Good. I got big hands. Put the gloves on. This way I won't stain my hands with the dye. Okay, so what they're telling me to do is take this, take this product, the small bottle, pour it inside the big bottle. Pour the entire contents. Or the entire contents of this bottle into this bottle. Okay. Okay. Good. Put the cap back on. So now they just gonna break this off. Whoa! Watch it from splashing in your eyes. I don't know. That's weird. And now this is what they want you to do. They want you to put your thumb on here and then shake it up. Pretty easy instructions. I'm just reading off the instruction manual here. They say leave it in for five minutes. So I got my stopwatch here. I'm gonna five minutes. Five minutes on this. They say put it in where the hair is the grayest. Uh, and so like for me, that's like everywhere. If you get any on your skin that's not um, where you put the conditioner, um, just wipe it off right away. They say five minutes should do it. On other products, I've used it, like kept it in like a lot longer. My gray hair seems to be really hard to dye, but at the same time then, I've, I've had a problem sometimes where I got it too dark. But, you know, you get a lot of it in there, and it's just pretty much like shampoo. You're just going to massage it everywhere you can, all over, and leave it in there, I guess, for only five minutes. Okay, so I got the dark brown color, or medium brown medium brown color because that's what matches my eyebrows are still my original color. I'm going to look a little different for a little while now so if you see a, a young looking dark haired Gerald Davies don't think it's an imposter it's this is me. Make sure that I all that white hair is covered you know. It's a shame that when you after you finish and you wash it all off and you're all done and then you see that you didn't really cover all the hair like you know like you should have. So I'll show you like around back. It's same thing, you just massage it in. Yes. So that's five minutes right there, folks. I'm gonna hop in the shower, you guys, and I'm gonna wash this dye out now. The women's one would usually give you like a little conditioner packet to condition your hair, but they didn't give it in the men's one. So I'll show you how it is after the shower. Okay. So hey guys, I just finished my shower and I'm checking it out and yeah, I think it's looking good. I like this hair dye. It doesn't, doesn't seem to have that shimmer too much like uh, other f uh, women's hair dyes seem to have. Um, so, so pretty much I just shampooed it and conditioned it and you should condition it because of the harsh chemicals in the dye possibly can make your hair uh, stiff and not nice. I hope it uh, you learned a little bit of something about if you wanted to dye your hair. Um, Jerry Davies from Hawaii. Yeah, it's a new day. All right.